Hello friends, welcome to Inside Text. This is a platform to learn about power transmission elements and its control system. So friends, continuing in the substation equipment wiring series, today we are going to learn about transformer cooler control AC supply selection. For specifically up till now, we in the previous video, we had seen different kinds of cooling systems. So in today's video, we are going to learn about cooler control. We have many videos on our channel regarding what is battery set, the charging, discharging of battery set, panel to breaker schedule, CT in the switch yard, PT in the switch yard. All types of transformer low voltage testing videos are also available. You can check in the description box. You can get links to all the important videos. Uh, do visit our channel once and see all the videos. So now continuing in our today's video about equip substation equipment wiring specifically we are going to learn about cooling control AC supply selection. So in the previous video we have seen that uh, there are two types of basically transformer dry type and oil field transformers and uh, for oil field transformers we have seen different kinds of cooling system also and as we know transformer is the most crucial equipment and the costliest equipment so taking care of cooling of this equipment is very much important right so types of cooling system of transformer that we covered is oil natural air natural oil natural air force oil force air natural and oil force air force Right, so you can check uh, our previous video uh, to see in details about each of these cooling system. Now uh, we are using fans and pump over here. You can see for the cooling of the transformer. Right, so how the wiring is done for both of these. So we have this MK box over here. Okay, and inside this box you can see different kinds of meters are there. Now that are continuously monitoring the oil temperature indication over here. Okay. And the other are the winding temperature indications for each phase individually. R phase, Y phase and B phase. And all this wiring is done in this MK box. Right. So uh, there is specific wiring done for the pump and then specific wiring is done for the fan. Uh, so how the wiring is done in such a way that whenever a temperature rises above certain degrees this fans have to turn on and uh, if the winding temperature rises above uh, a certain temperature and then in that case this pump has to automatically start right so complete wiring uh, for this two is done over here in this wiring box okay and whenever the temperature comes down after a certain degrees in that case they will automatically turn so friends, as you can see over here, we are going to learn about the cooling control. When to turn on the fan and when to turn off the fan or when to turn on the pump and when to turn off the pump. Right. Uh, so as you can see, this is the diagram for AC supply for AC supply selection. Now we are having two sources as you can see here, source one and source two. Okay. And this is the diagram. And now let us understand uh, this entire process, how these two sources are getting activated and how we are getting AC supply selection. So we are having source one over here and this is the MCB. We will close this MCB and you can see the supply is reaching up till this. Okay, so once the uh, MCB is closed, then we are having over here uh, this contact is called CMS. CMS is circuit monitoring system. It will continuously monitor in both the sources. Okay. And you can see that one phase is going to this contact and both this Y and B phase will be going to this. So Y and B phase will activate the CMS contact and this will get closed. Now we'll move further. And it, we are having a time delay relay 1 over here. Okay. And neutral is already reaching at this point. See. So that will activate time delay relay 1. And this will get, get operated. It will operate after 5 seconds. So after delay of 5 seconds, this contact of TDR1 is also closed. And now you can see this R phase will reach up to here. 
this CM contact and once this CM contact is activated neutral is already there so what will happen is this switch will be closed once this switch is closed now you can see RYB phase and neutral are reaching at this points right okay so that's how source 1 is working for us now uh, we will see how the source 2 is working Whenever source 1 is not available, when the source 1 is not available, this CMS, this contact will not be operated, okay? And we are having circuit switching system because 1 is not operated, so 2 has to operate. So, we will be using this source 2, okay? And in, that, in this case, this TDR1 relay will also be not operated, okay? So, our entire supply will be available from source 2 only. Right? This contact will not be operating and this will get open. How the source changeover process occurs? So, RYB phase are reaching up to this point. Again, R phase is going to this circuit switching system and this will energize it. So, this will close. As Y and B phase will energize it, this switch is closing it. Again, because TDR1 is not operated, so this contact will get closed. Okay. And we are working with TDR2 over here. So, it is getting supply. Phase and neutral, it is activated with 5 seconds delay, this contact will close. Once this contact has closed, now our phase supply is reaching up to this contact. Again, it is getting neutral and in turn, this switch will be closed. Now, RYB phase and neutral are reaching up to, the, up to this contact and it will give the AC supply. So, we have seen how the AC supply selection is done for the cooler control circuit in this video and we will learn uh, in the next video about what is the further circuit for cooler control. We have done only AC supply selection till now and we will move on for cooler control circuit in the next video. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below and keep watching for the next video. Thank you.